Last time out, Chris just got over the line. What can we expect to see tonight? Uh, you always expect a hard fight from myself, and you always expect a hard fight from Chris. He's a big man, and it comes fit. Um, yeah, I mean, expect for expect six rounds, hope for less. <laughs> um, yeah, looking forward to the feeling, um, that sweet feeling of revenge. Well, it's going to be tough. We all know how tough Jason Sade is. When he comes, he fights. Last time I stopped him, I'm going to do the same tonight. Well, them are fighting words, and this is the rematch all of Oceania has been waiting for. The voice Michael Chavello, the hammer Mark Castanini, and who let the dogs out? Who let out big Godzilla? Chris Christopoulidis, the only man to make Jason Sonny throw in the towel. It was at the K1 Anzac show in 2005. The huge leg kicks of Chris Chrysopolides had Sonny's corner throwing in the towel in Auckland. And can Chrysopolides repeat here tonight? Former K1 New Zealand champion, and early this year he placed runner up the K1 World GP Oceania in Auckland. Jason the Psycho Sonny makes the walk to centre ring. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael, uh, this is going to be like two semi-trailers having a head-on because uh, when these two men step in the centre ring, you're always going to be entertained. The bell rings Patrick O'Connor. Introducing right now out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 109.6 kilograms. He is known and trained by Johnny Sheeter. Ladies and gentlemen, 35 fights. 25 wins, 8 losses and 2 draws. He has 12 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Godzilla, Chris Chrysopolides. One of the, if not the nicest guy in all of kickboxing. A real gentleman inside and outside of the ring, Chrysopolides. KB1 and New Zealand K1 champion. And what a legend. 65 fights. 53 wins, 10 losses, 2 draws. 27 of those wins coming by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, he's known as Psycho Jason Sate. I tell you what, this is a guy who every kickboxer in New Zealand looks up to, a six-time world champion from super middleweight to super heavyweight. Strictly kickboxing. He's the real shell okay. master of New Zealand kickboxing. He's no an absolute legend, Jason Suddy. Okay. A bit of a knockdown, man. Stand Have a look at the stare the down here from the psycho Suddy. Coming off that Good luck. Come out ready to fight. final KO oh, loss to Paul Slowinski at the K1 Oceania GP in Auckland back in March. He defeated Paula Mateali that night in a much anticipated rematch, Suddy. And he has been hanging out for another shot at Big Chris Chrysopolides. Here we go in the first round of this semi-main event. And we are set for six by two kickboxing rules. Well, Chrysopolides walking forward, as he always does. I'll tell you what, I've, uh, I've never seen anyone take the shots that Chris Chrysopolides has taken and, uh, off in the heavyweight ranks and just continue on walking forward. He's, uh, he's taking some big shots from some big hitters. None less than uh, the, the person uh, he puts down has been his highest achievement in fighting Maurice Smith, the mean machine, who uh, was 10 years undefeated heavyweight champion of the world in the days when uh, the WKA title was supreme. Chris's last time out against the mean machine, Maurice Smith, at the Vodafone Arena, defeating the legend. Jason Sonny, who back in February had a terrible motorcycle accident in Bangkok, Doctors said he couldn't train, let alone fight, for at least two months. But five weeks later, Hammer, he was in the Oceania GP and making it all the way to the final. The adversity that this man has overcome in his decorated career is just amazing. Outside thigh kicks there from Christopolides. He boasts some of the hardest thigh kicks in all of Oceania. And knows what did the damage to Jason Suddy in Auckland last time these two met. Jason Sonny has the speed, no doubt about it. He's got a very quick left hook and a sharp and powerful right hand that he gets full turn on ever since he had an operation on his right shoulder at the end of 2005. 
We remember back in the days, Hammer, Suddy was a super middleweight going up against the likes of Gurkhan, Ozkan. We had an absolute war against Gurkhan. Dallas uh, Brooks Hall. Dallas Brooks Hall it was indeed. Fought over in Japan under the fight name Jason Nobunaga for a couple of years. Then made the move up to heavyweight. Won the K1 New Zealand title. Runner up a couple of times in the K1 Oceania. Well, it was a quick start from uh, Suddy in the first round, the opening round. Chris just sitting back a little bit and uh, probably hesitating a little bit with his shots. But nevertheless, Chris Opelides uh, still, if he lets those uh, big leg kicks of his go, they'll score well for him. Suddy very wary, very cautious, letting the hands the hands go. He's got quick hand speed as, uh, as the psycho Suddy and uh, scored well in that first round. Probably just just pipped Chris Opelides because uh, he landed the more cleanly and uh, quickly executed hand strikes. Here we go, second round, set 4-6. Chris Opelides goes down to the leg. Suddy comes over the top with that clipping left hook of his. The height and reach going to Chris Opelides. The speed going the way of Suddy. Inside thigh kick from Suddy. Round kick to the right rib cage. Double jab, right hand, outside thigh kick. Beautiful combination work there from Big Chris. Well, this is better from Godzilla now. Starting to pick it up a little in the second. He should have uh, perhaps started a little quicker in the first, but uh, had a look at Suddy, measured out, and uh, now he's looking a little bit more confident is uh, the Victorian Chris Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides controlling centering against the master of the pre-fight psych out, Jason Suddy. Inside thigh kick, snappy jab there from Suddy. Nicely done. Round kicks from Chrysopolides and a stinging right hand up the centre corridor. Just gets behind his jab. He uses it for distance, Chrysopolides, to set up the outside thigh kick off the rear leg. Bangs away to the body, then clips the left hook atop to the head of Chrysopolides. Good rib kick to the right rib cage there from Suddy. Spins off anti-clockwise. Checks the low kick from Big Chris. Much better round here for Chrysopolides. Controlling the tempo at the moment. Outside thigh kick from Big Chris. Those will score for him. Suddy's got to get on the inside of that long-reaching jab and the real leg round kicks of Chrysopolides. He's got to bang to the body as he did against Paula Mattiali earlier on this year. That'll be the key to victory here for Suddy to get on the inside of Big Chris and work the body and the head with those razor-fast and razor-sharp hands of his. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael, Chris is landing some good combos at the moment. He's putting some good score on the scorecards. Definitely Big Chris's round. It takes a right hand to the side of the jaw there, does Chris. Smiles at Suddy. End of the round. I'm going to give that one a 10 9 up to Chrysopolides. So far, I've got it one round apiece, Hammer. Well, uh, certainly the first round may be going the way of Suddy. Definitely the second round, I'd say I'll give it to uh, Chris Chrysopolides also. John Sheeter giving uh, Chrysopolides uh, his instructions in the break. Suddy wearing some leather and uh, a chopping leg kick on that little exchange. Again, Chrysopolides just going forward, working solidly with the hands. OK, we are ready to roll. Johnny Sheeter, Grizzly Carl Tramsek, Billy Philippousis all in the corner there of Big Chris. And Johnny Sheeter telling him, sit behind the jab, set it up, the jab leg kick. And that's exactly what Big Chris does to start the third round. Jab inside thigh kick there from Suddy. Circles off to his left. Checks the low kick to Suddy. Goes to the body. He's keeping a distance here, Jason Suddy. He's got to get on the inside, though. I don't see him having the reach to affect Chris here. Well, it's surprising he's giving Chris uh, room to, the to uh, launch his leg kicks. It was obviously those leg kicks, those devastating devastating leg kicks that uh, Chris Opelides has. Uh, if he cuts them off, he's not going to be able to, quickly, to, to uh, properly rotate. But uh, instead, Suddy is staying uh, at the end of Chris's gloves and giving him room to uh, roll the leg kicks in. It is also Chrysopolides being the aggressor coming forward on Suddy, and Suddy almost playing a counter-attacking game here. Again, just probing with the jab, getting his distance, and going to the outside thigh on the lead leg of Suddy. Once more from Big Chris. There is nothing fancy about Chrysopolides here tonight, but he surely is effective, and for my liking, leading this round so far. Well, uh, have a close look at it, Michael, because Suddy uh, did land an inside thigh in the tidy hand combo. It's pretty even up to this point, in my mind. Outside thigh kick again from Chrysopolides. 
connected more around the knee area, so didn't have the full force of the shin. Slightly landing a body kick there on Chrysopolidis. Some tidy hand strikes. Very fast on the inside is Suddy. That's where he wants to be. Slams the round kick. Was caught on the elbow by Big Chris. Short clipping left hand. Just trying to tuck it under the jaw there from Chrysopolidis. Ooh, clipping Beautiful left hook from Big hook. Chris. Smart fight here from Chrysopolidis. Sadi content to stay on the outside of the ring and not really force the fight to Big Chris. Steps forward on that occasion and connects with a rib kick to the right side of the body. End of the round, Hammer, how do you give that one? I might lean uh, slightly the way of uh, Sadi for that one. Maybe a draw, actually, because uh, Chris Opelidis, uh landed some good combos. But uh, Sadi with that switch-up round kick and inside thigh kick on the exchange... Landed uh, landed some good scoring techniques as well. Chrysopolidis uh, letting the hands fly. But uh, Sadi with his guard up and high and forward, just uh, confounding the, uh, the forward movement of Chrysopolidis. Round number four of six unofficially. I've got it 29 points apiece. After three rounds, the first to Sadi, the second to Chris, and the third a draw. Still in ones for the taking. Good leg kick there from Chrysopolidis. Rim kick from Sadi. All tied up. There's a huge red welt on the right rib cage of Chrysopolides from the lead leg round kicks of Jason Suddy. Well, he's, uh, he's pretty much hitting and moving now, Suddy. He knows not to uh, lay on the ropes and let Chrysopolides tee off on him because those uh, leg kicks are really going to start to hurt Suddy if, uh, if Chrysopolides zeroes in on him and uh, rolls him on the thigh. Left hook outside thigh kick from Suddy, beating Chrysopolides to the punch on that occasion. Striking first. And Sadi looks the better when he's on the front foot. Checks the low kick, there's Jason Psycho. Good outside thigh kick, Chrysopolides. Almost caught him on the hamstring area. Goes to that damaged right rib cage again, does Sadi. This is better stuff again. from Sadi in this round, Hammer. It's, the, it's really a contrast in style, styles, rather. You've got Sadi, who's got those rapid fire hand combinations, and then you've got uh, Chrysopolides, who's just chopping and chopping away at the leg. Hands up and chopping at the leg. Now it comes down to how the judges are going to score it. They're going to score heavily on the hand strikes or are they going to pay the leg kicks as being more effective? It is kickboxing and of course you have to score the kicks higher than punches, but it just depends on the numbers of, uh, of technique being thrown. Kicks landing there to the waist area of Suddy. Chrysopolides is finding... Bit of a head clash there, Suddy going forward, just uh, butting the side of Chrysopolides' head. Sorry to interrupt, Michael. Oh, ball right hand. Well, that's something you'd expect from Chrysopolides. The Johnny Sheeta special came from his opponent on that occasion. End of the round, little one below the border there for Big Chris. A hard round to call, Hammer. The first half of the round, I would have given it to Suddy, but then Chris started to find range with the leg kicks to the lead thigh. A final good 15 seconds from Sadi. It's, it's a real hard one to separate. Well, pretty much a, an even round again. As I said, Sadi just bombing with a hand. Just rapid fire, rapid fire hand combinations. And that switch round kick off the lead leg is working well for Sadi. Chrysopolides probably needs to pick up the, uh, the scoring rate a little. When he's effective, he's very effective, uh, is Godzilla. But Sadi just being busier and, uh, of course, throwing punches in bunches and uh, racking up the score nicely. Seconds down, seconds out. I'm giving that previous seconds round down, a draw. Out. If I was going to lean anyone's way, maybe seconds slightly down. Jason Suddy, but for me... I'll agree with you there, Michael. I've I think uh, you've called that one right. 39 points apiece after four rounds. Dead oh. even. My scorecard, how are you scoring it at home? Hope you're enjoying it, folks. From well, the Penrith Panthers. In effect, uh, it's all down to the fifth and final, Michael, uh, on our scorecard. It's the winner of this round that will take the fight as they go at it. Hammer and Tom. Six Sadi. rounds. Six, six rounds. rounds Two indeed. more to go. Two more to go. So they've opened up it's hard. It's really in here. the balance. It's hanging in the balance. This one. Chrysopolides. Just quick glance towards the referee. He's a little bit miffed himself, or as Sadi sustained a cut that we can't quite see. Just wiping off that right eye. He may be cut. Well, they should have actually sent him to the doctor, not to the corner there. There's a mistake uh, in the centre ref. There's a doc in the corner there. Stuart McKinnon in the corner With of that. Jason Suddy, who trains out of the ETK gym in Auckland, his own gym. 
Initially set for five. This one's now uh, six. That's uh, a little bit of confusion set there, but it is a six-rounder. We've got it even, folks. The voice Michael Chevello, the hammer Mark Castanini, celebrating our 10th year kickboxing commentary. Ten years of uh, broadcast on Fox Sports, indeed. Sadi. Backing himself against the ropes. Chrysopolidis to the outside rear thigh. Pokes out the jab and a good leg kick from Big Chris. Those are scoring techniques for Chrysopolidis. And again he scores. And once more, four in a row from Chrysopolidis. A lot of power. It's a very underestimated technique. The real leg round kick from Chris Chrysopolidis. He is a big man. He really talks the hip and the, the whole body behind those kicks. Catches that one of the forearms. Cracks away to the thigh again there. And again. This has got to be scoring on the judges' scorecards here for Chrysopolides. Well, they're even they're even in the hand department now, and it's those leg kicks for Chrysopolides that are taking the advantage. And another one. This is exactly what he did to Sonny in Auckland last time they met. He took out that lead thigh of Jason Sonny. And I'm going to give that round the way of Chrysopolides' hammer. Well, definitely uh, Chrysopolides after that uh, that head clash. He's pinched it, Michael, no doubt. He's pinched it. So uh, Sadi now has to rally in the last round. Breathe up, breathe up. Come on, one breathe more. Up, breathe up, breathe up. One more. Breathe up. One more to go. And we have a look at Foley warming up out the back now for the main event. Greg Foley rattling into those pads. Trainer Rhett Junker. He's back with his original trainer, Rhett Junker, now Foley. And look at all good for it. Okay, here we go. Sixth and final round. I've got it. 49 48 in favour of Chrysopolides. He opens up where he left off. Three lead kicks to the lead five. Make it four for Big Chris. Godzilla's opened up strongly here. Sonny goes to the body. Double body shot. Oh, was it a head clash? Yeah, a bit of a head clash. Have a look at the ribs of Chris Chrysopolides from those round kicks. Oh, he tags him with a left hook, and again! Chrysopolides is coming on strong here. Sonny ties him up. This is good stuff from Big Chris. Goes to the body. Couldn't chamber the outside thigh kick. Sticks out the jab, does Godzilla. Sonny hasn't done too much here in the final round so far. Well, have a look at the faces and the bodies of these two men, and it tells the tale of this fight. It's been an absolute gutsy war. No other way to describe it. Outside fly kick, and again, Chrysopolis. Oh. Straight right hand! Straight right hand! Sonny won't be in trouble! Chrysopolis oh. makes it and fires the uppercut! <laughs> Listen to the crowd rally! Sonny finds the target with the right hand! This is a Cracker Jake Awesome final! Well, the super heavyweights are really turning it on for us, Michael. Sonny and Chris Chrysopolides, we expect nothing less but the best, and they've delivered for this one. Chrysopolides weaves in the left hook. He has been relentless. Up again, outside, thigh again. That lead leg of Jason oh, Sonny has taken more hits than the internet. Another outside, thigh from Chrysopolides, and again, Sonny checks it. A fantastic final round. Sonny fires off the uppercut. Chris smothers him against the ropes. Here comes Chris Opolides going on strong. Takes out the inside thigh. Go Chris Opolides. Wow, big Chris Opolides. In my book, he takes the final round 10-9. And that would make it 59-57. In favour of Chrysopolides' hammer. Well, certainly that's uh, how my scorecard reads as well. The last two rounds, I'd say Chris Chrysopolides but pinching this one. And uh, Godzilla, the Australian, the Victorian, I'd say he's done it. OK, the hammer and I have got identical scorecards, folks. 10-9 Sonny in the first. 10-9 Chrysopolides the second. 10 all the third. 10 all the fourth. And the last two rounds, 10-9ers. Both going the way of Big Chris. Well, a couple of uh, accidental head clashes. It was toe to toe in the fifth and uh, indeed the, the sorry the fifth and the sixth round. Oh, oh I didn't see that coming. Bit of, uh, I don't see how that one happened. I had Big Chris. You had Big Chris up by two points.